Well, hello, friends. Welcome to another Tuesday evening unboxing here at Class Act. I have lots and lots of goodies to share with you this evening. Um, and my apologies for the not great view. <laughs> um, my camera was not cooperating for setup, so um, I didn't want to spend, you know, 20 minutes trying to get it sorted. So hopefully this view will will do in terms of sharing all the new goodies that I have to share this evening. Um, another good unboxing here tonight. Lots of things to share with you. Um, a lot of new arrivals. So sit back, relax, and uh, thank you for joining. Very excited. My name is Liz. Um, if you guys see anything that you like and you want to learn more about, head to our website, classact.ca, click on shop, new arrivals, and that's where you will find all of these goodies and then some. So um, I'll give everyone a minute or two to filter in. Hi, Carol. Hi, Kim, Deborah. Uh, thank you guys for joining. Super excited. Oh, that's it. That's my intro. <laughs> um, Richard is just getting Conrad to bed and hopefully he will make an appearance tonight as well. So um, I you guys might have guessed, Minte finally arrived. We're very excited about that. Starting off strong with the new craft room, or yeah, in my craft room collection to share with you guys. Hi, Shirley. Um, so I think we're just going to hop right into things. Um, so like I said, the In My Craft Room is a gorgeous new collection from Minte. We're going to start off by sharing with you guys the die cuts. So if I flip it over, these actually feature a beautiful color scheme with like light blues and pinks and all kinds of crafty goodies that you probably have in your craft rooms or sewing rooms or, or uh, I see knitting, I see crochet, uh, scissors, yarn, paint brushes, paint, um, oh goodness, thimbles, sewing machines, journals, books, all kinds of goodies. So beautiful little die cut set here. Um, oh goodness, where to put things? Okay. <laughs> then they also have the paper elements for in my craft room. If I flip it over, it's going to give us hopefully a good breakdown of what's in here. So here we have little pockets and, um, circle tags and regular tags and some tickets. Um, so very, very lovely. Unfortunately, my camera is not doing this collection justice. So go check it out on the website if you want to see better images. Trust me, it is gorgeous, especially seeing it up close and personal. Camera doesn't do it justice. Then they have the six by eight for the In My Craft Room. Um, again, if we just flip through it really quickly, it's just beautiful. So fabrics, uh, different textures and um, colors and all kinds of things. Great for junk journaling, junk journaling, card making, um, tag making. You got some fussy cut sheets here, buttons, jar of buttons. Um, so yeah, really beautiful collection. And then it just repeats itself three or four times. Gorgeous. I believe the six by eight retails for $13.99. I do not have a sticker on it. Then we have the In My Craft Room paper sticker element. We have two different ones to share with you. So this one features all the little crafty goodies once again. I love the jars of buttons. I think those are so cute. Um, crochet hooks, thimbles, glue bottles, flowers, paint caddies. Um, and then this one features words. Um, so at the top, they're larger. They say things like creative, crafty, um, born to craft or born, born crafty. I don't know. Um, and then down here you get some lower, smaller font. Uh, it says things like sewing, knitting, crochet, paper craft, creativity, scrapbooking, creative vibes only in my craft room, and so on and so forth. And then down here you get some scripty font that says things like creativity, friends, crafty, creative. So really beautiful collection from Minte. And last but not least in my craft room, we have the 12 by 12. Uh, we couldn't not share the 12 by 12 with you. So here it is. <laughs> Gorgeous. Um, and speaking of Minte, uh, we have a little promotion happening where if you buy any Minte single sheets, collections, whatever the case may be, they actually sent you guys some really cute stickers um, that say live, love, 
live love scrap craft vibes eat scrap sleep repeat and i heart scrapbooking so uh if you purchase any minte you get a little bonus straight from minte themselves which i these are adorning my computer now they're so cute so yeah in my craft room <laughs> then coming in strong some of these are jangled we have the <laughs> Christmas Blessings Collection. So this one is nice. It is a Christmas collection, but it features like um, rustic golds and browns and charming little blue notes. Um, here you have some lovely Christmas sayings uh, that are great for not only scrapbooking, but also card makers. Uh, really cute stuff. Hey, Sandra, thanks for joining. Um, so yeah, this is the Christmas Blessings collection from Minte. And if you guys are a su sucker for nutcrackers, like how stinking cute is this guy? You have like this vintage Santa in the blue, which I love because it's different. And then here we have like a golden brown colored nutcracker as well. So then you're gonna see these themes carried on in the six by eight paper pack for the Christmas Blessings. Let's just go through it. I love this like sweater texture. Oof, I love this one even more. <laughs> um, some snowflakes, Christmas music. Um, and it actually says, I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. So it's the lyrics to a white Christmas. If that movie is near and dear to your heart, uh, might be cute to like journal about or something. So really charming collection here. And then you get some fussy cut elements, some stockings, lanterns, really lovely. So for people who don't do their houses in traditional Christmas colors, it might look something like this. And I think it's stunning. Okay, so that is the six by eight. Then they released some um, die cuts as well. And I'm just gonna flip it over to give you guys a better sense of what is included. So you got things like Christmas cookies, gingerbread castles or houses, um, little reindeer, snowman, snowmen, women, snow people, um, some stars, wreaths, little topiaries. Very cute stuff. Hi, Joanne. Thanks for joining. Thanks everybody for watching. I really appreciate it. So fun. Then we have Christmas Blessings 6x6. Six six. So here you get a fussy cutting sheet on the first page. Bring it up closer so you guys can see how cute. So yeah, it looks a lot better in person. Like I said, unfortunately, my camera is not doing justice tonight. My apologies. Little toy shop or uh, display of some sort. I need to get a better camera stand. <laughs> this one's just like bobbing all over the place. So then we have some little journaling, cut apart sheets and whatnot. And then it just repeats itself again, probably three or four times. So really nice paper if you do card making and stuff like that. Love it. Then they also did paper elements for the um, Christmas blessings. So you get tickets, tags, um, pockets. Again, wonderful if you scrapbook, if you wanna tuck a gift card into a card, everything coordinates. You don't have to die cut your envelopes or your little pockets, it's great. And then we have the Christmas Blessings 12 by 12. Ta-da! Very lovely as well. And you get a bonus fussy cutting sheet on the front of that. Very lovely. Okay, on to the next pile. <laughs> so here we have another Christmas collection from Minte. Oh, goodness. You guys are probably going to feel seasick by the end of this video. I promise you, next week I will have a better camera stand. My apologies. So here we have Mary and Joy from the Minte. Lovely, lovely. Stop wobbling. This is the 12 by 12. <laughs> Then we have Mary and Joy. Um, these are the word paper stickers and these are the element paper stickers. And again, if you're a sucker for nutcrackers, how cute is he? And how sweet is this little deer and this little vintage like Coca-Cola Santa? Just beautiful stuff. Then they have the Mary and Joy six by six. 
lovely colors. I love the ornaments and all the little journaling cards or um, you could use these for card making as well. It's so stinking cute. So there's the six by six. Then we have Mary and Joy six by eight. Merry Christmas is what this says. Snowflakes, some pink crackle. I love Minte too because they give like a lot of texture to their papers, whether it's fabric, whether it's like sort of wood starting to crack. This one is just music note, no song set, but if you know how to read music, let me know. Um, then we have another sort of fussy cut sheet or two, and then it just repeats itself. Pink snowflakes, how pretty. Then we have the die cuts for this particular collection. Oh goodness, here we go. So uh, again, you get quite a few different ones. I love the little peppermint swirls, um, the little paper star lanterns, the, the vintage Santa. Here we have a beautiful couple exchanging gifts, a little blue truck hauling some Christmas presents and so on and so forth different collection. We have the um, Mary and Joy paper elements. These guys retail for $13.99. Um, I think for all of the collections, but yeah, little circle tags, regular tags, tickets, um, pockets, and so on and so forth. And then I brought home an extra six by six because I really enjoy this collection. Had to share it. <laughs> and then we have... Um, the white Christmas. So these are the white Christmas die cuts. So cute. And I feel like you can mix and match these because why not? Like it's all Christmas at the end of the day. So even if it's a different collection, it's still from Minte. It's still got similar colors. Um, and then we have white Christmas six by eight. Here's what this one looks like really quickly. Whoop. Oh no. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just yelling at my camera here for wobbling. Uh, this is really lovely. Some red stars. I love the Christmas paper too, Carol. I'm a sucker for Christmas. Okay, so that concludes my tour of Minte Christmas. Up next, let's tour some Minte fall stuff. <clears throat> But before we do, I also found, um, while I was organizing last week, um, some 49 and Market Vintage Artistry Shore Ephemera Stacks. So these are discontinued from 49 and Market, but they are gorgeous. So if you guys are into journaling or anything, um, they have sort of like lacy details, some doily sort of um, flavor to them, and then you get all kinds of uh, mix and match pieces that you can use to do clusters and all kinds of things. And I feel like it does pair well with the, in my craft room collection, for example, from Minte or, uh, the Christmas one or Prima Christmas. So I just wanted to throw this in tonight's unboxing to share with you. So ta-da. And again, $10.99, you can't go wrong because you're getting 34, uh, mix and match pieces. So there you go. Then we have Minte. This is the Halloween book. Got to share this with you guys really quickly because I love Halloween. So you get black cats and skeletons and bats and pumpkins, mummies, witches, um, spider webs. This one is gorgeous. I'm going to bring it up to the, the camera. So pretty. Little stars. Um, so it's like very pretty. Very elegant Halloween, I may say. Uh, witches hats. There's Conrad. Uh, <laughs> then we have ravens and spiders and ghosts. Black cats, I think I said that. Little Frankensteins and pumpkin mans and uh, Halloween cupcakes. And then we have... This guy reminds me. He's very like Tim burton -y. Um And then, yeah, it just keeps going like that. It's a beautiful collection. And then I think we're repeating ourselves again. So I think you get four of each in the um, Halloween book, four of each pattern, and then two different ones on the front and back cover. So you get this one here, and at the back, you get this one. 
Ooh, very cool. <laughs> then if you're into fall, but you're not into Halloween, we have another gorgeous collection from Minte. This one is called Autumn Splendor. And this is so cute. So this is like pumpkin spice at its at its best. You have little um, decorative pumpkins and leaves and cameras. Here's a little chipmunk, um, some cider or some uh, cozy tea, coffee. Nothing like coffee on a fall morning. Um, then we have like a little sort of deck. And I, I've noticed this little hedgehog and the chipmunk like to make appearances in this collection. See, there's the chipmunk. So very cute collection here. Pumpkins, again, with like some really nice lace. Then we have some flowers, more of that crackle, and some journaling cards. And then I think it's going to start over again. Maybe not. I don't remember this page. Okay, now it starts over. There we go. Then we have the Autumn Splendor um, Paper Element. So again, this is all kinds of tags and tickets and pockets. Autumn Splendor die cuts. Ta-da. Ooh, so pretty. Autumn Splendor words, paper sticker words. So uh, these are great because they're stickers too. So you just tack them on the envelopes or insides of your projects. Um, or scrapbook layouts. And then we have some little elements, again, featuring the adorable hedgehog and the little chipmunk and some bikes and pine cones and boots and typewriters and teacups, teapots, etc. <laughs> and last but not least, the Autumn Splendor 12 by 12, as well um, as single sheets for most of these collections that I'm sharing with you guys tonight. So that concludes my tour of Minte. Oh no, it doesn't. I lie. There's more. <laughs> Buckle up kids. Then we have Coastal Memories. I believe we have the 12, 12 by 12 and the 6 by 8. So beautiful for summer, beautiful nautical, beachy paper. Oh no. Ta-da. <laughs> seashells, burlap, weathered wood. So pretty. So lovely. And so on and so forth. Then we have the Minte Greenery Book. This one is similar to the Halloween one, but it's all kinds of leaves and things that you can fussy cut. Um, beautiful shades of green as well that you can actually use as backgrounds. And I would imagine these greens pair very nicely with almost any of the Minte collections. Like, you could totally pull this into the fall one, for example. Or the beach. Although green, I don't think of beach. But you know. You know what I mean. It's beautiful. So there we have the greenery book. Then we have some happy birthday die cut elements. Featuring birthday cakes and champagnes and banners, um, shopping baskets full of gifts, and carts of snacks and party celebrations. This 6x6 of the Peony Garden. This one is really pretty. This would pair nicely with the greenery. That's what I'm talking about. Um, so yeah, really pretty collection here as well. Just share it with you briefly because I have lots more to go and if I take my time we're gonna be here till like midnight. <laughs> Ooh, that's so pretty with that green wood. And then it repeats. We have the baby girl book. Um, again, this one features all kinds of things to fussy cut um, and card make, for example, to your heart's content. Little bears and rocking horses, balloons, cute nurseries. Oh, little baby shoes and outfits. I swear. Oh my gosh, and little babies. Little baby girls. How lovely. Great for scrapbooking, great for card making. And then the celebration book. Very good for 
celebrations of all kinds, whether it's wedding, anniversary, um, Easter, <laughs> birthdays, you name it. I feel like they've got it covered here. Very, very cool. Look at this like fake glitter page. It's like glitter without the mess. Love it. Oh, that's nice. Even This one is like a navy sort of blue and gold. Could be cute for masculine birthdays. Again, anniversaries, so on and so forth. Love it. And then it repeats again. We have antique shop paper elements. And then the antique shop collection, I think in singles and, and whatnot, are still available as well. I just grabbed those. And then... We've also gotten some decorative stencils. So starting off cute with these little strings of Christmas lights. Um, these would look really cool if you used stickles or um, astro paste or some sort of sparkly paste on them. Humble opinion. We have the bubble stencil. Holly leaves. So cute. Oh, I love this one. The stencil of the snowflakes. It's just nice and subtle, but it's so nice. And last but not least, Christmas mix stencil. It's coming in strong. Okay, that concludes mint day. <laughs> For real this time. Let's move on to... Oh my gosh, this huge pile that I have here. <laughs> Trace yourselves. Okay, so we have a brand new collection. You might have seen some sneak peeks from our friends at 49 and Market. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is the new um, Evergreen Season. This is the Christmas or holiday collection that 49 and Market has released. Um, and here we have a cute little tote. So you can tuck all of your um, collection pieces and die cuts and stuff in it. You could use this as a crafty like gift bag for a friend and fill it up with goodies. Um, and the cool thing about these is that they actually contain, oh, sorry about my camera, some um, little enamel dots. So how cute are those? Lovely shade of green. Oh, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Getting a better camera next week, I promise. Bear with me for this evening. Okay, then we have some um, Evergreen Season Wildflower Laser Cuts. How pretty are these? Um, yeah, Minte has stencils, Sandra. They're very nice. I am partial to the snowflakes. So these are, um, if you've never used these before, these are laser cuts from Minte, and they essentially are like punch outs, but like the details are just um, unparalleled to anything else on the market. Um, they don't have any white edges, which I know some people like. They have like the skinniest little um, sort of lines and sprigs and all kinds of things that you wouldn't get in a regular die cut. And these ones are all kinds of like winter greenery. So beautiful. Then we have the ephemera bits. I love these because they, so you get 119 die cut pieces for $12.49. They come with um, index like tags and, and phrases like Christmas wishes, happy holidays, little bingo cards, um, together, and all kinds of just like gems that you can pop onto pretty much anything, not only 49 a market, but they just make really great additions to um, cards and, and stuff. Then we have evergreen season chipboard frames. I love these because they're just like wooden frames. They would look beautiful with any of your 49 a market collections. They're just, they're just wooden frames and they come in various sizes. Um, I, I appreciate that they actually added a circle frame to this as well. I don't think I've seen that before in 49 Market, so good on them. We have evergreen season chipboard words. And these are great too, because they're like a beautiful font or script. Um, and then they also have these little guys that you can tuck into like something. They're just nice and subtle. 
They say things like merry and bright on the list, um, twinkle lights, shopping, December, and then elf, Christmas, jolly, jingle. Uh, if you guys have never used 49 and Market rub-ons, um, you're missing out, my friends. They are pretty awesome. So this one is a set of three different rub-ons. Um, here we have like the sort of super like Victorian traditional Santa Claus. You have some splotches, some cute little words and phrases and greenery. Uh, these things... These ones say things like, have yourself a merry little Christmas, merry everything and happy always, and so on and so forth. And here's what they, oh no, this is just a bonus like thing. So the packaging on the back is really cute too. You could literally use this as like a bonus piece of paper and just like cut these and turn them into cards or fussy cut. The world is your oyster. We have... Uh, these snuck into this pile, some Jelly Roll Stardust um, clear glitter ink pens. So these are really cute if you want to add like a little touch of glitter or flair to something really quickly, dries nice and quickly, um, and they're just kind of fun. So if you've never tried these, I, I like it. And give one to a friend because it comes with two. There we go. Uh, then I think this is another, oh no, this, I stand corrected. It's not rub-ons. This is a new thing that 49 and Market is doing, or I noticed them doing. These are washi tape sheets. So instead of like the washi tape rolls, they actually have these sheets. Um, I believe everything sort of punches out so it works like a sticker. Um, or you could just use the whole sheet, whatever your, whatever your goal is. And then it comes with little things, little sentiments at the bottom, like stockings were hung. North Pole, Naughty and Nice, um, Reindeer Games, and Tis the Season, for example. We have more laser cut elements, but these ones are slightly different. They are not the winter greenery. These ones are just various elements. So you have some like Star of Anise, um, Little Red Truck Hall in a Christmas Tree. <laughs> you have some windows. Uh, sleighs, little um, cute little tags here, reindeers, little metal clips, and so on and so forth. And again, if I flip it over, it really gives you like a sense of how detailed these actually are. Little tabs here, so if you're doing a December daily, this would be fun to add to it. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Um, these are the botanical rub-on transfers. So again, they are rub-ons. They are awesome and they feature, um, Christmas florals and this beautiful back that you can turn into whatever you want. Rub-on transfers. Um, what are these ones? They look like phrases and snowflakes in Christmas music to me. <laughs> Oh, so pretty. So they say things like merry and bright, all is calm, all is bright. Have a merry Christmas and a joyous new year. This also snuck into the pile. <laughs> Some simple stories. Um, say cheese epic. Little die cuts. So again, these are kind of fun. Um, not only would they be great for documenting your um, trips to... Epcot at Disney, but also trips around the world because they have little um, shapes for Canada and Norway and Japan and Mexico and United Kingdom, Germany. So anyone who travels a lot, you can just do them a little scrapbook, a little project. Okay, then we're getting to the, the good stuff. The nitty gritty, we have the Evergreen Season 12 by 12 collection pack here. We did Get the mini laser, I don't know. I'm showing you all the laser cuts I believe we have. So stay tuned. Uh, we probably do have them somewhere. <laughs> so um, bear with me. This is a nice breakdown of all of the pages that are included in here. Now it does include um, 10 double-sided pages, one of each design. So if you're like me and you have a hard time choosing which ones you love, um, definitely get two packs then you don't have to. 
Here's some gingham style paper. Um, I'm just gonna set things off to the side over yonder. Cool. Then we have the Evergreen Season Collection Bundle from 49 Market. This appears to be a new thing that they are doing. Um, but yeah, it features the rub-on transfers, some laser cut elements of the various ones. Um, the rub-on transfers are, are like sentiments and splotches and so on and so forth. Collection pack, uh, wishing bubbles and bubbles, and then some chipboard punch outs. So for $64.79, you get a little bit of everything. And then that's the back again. It's that beautiful gingham paper. We have the Evergreen Season Page Kit as well. Um, so this is really cool if you've never seen these before. They include everything you need to either recreate the four um, different scrapbook page layouts um, you see here, or you can kind of tweak them and make them your own. Uh, but basically they make you look like a scrapbooking guru. So, uh, especially for Christmas photos, um, this would be really cute. You could give some to your family members, do like a little Christmas layout over the years. Um, maybe put it in a frame. Super cute. Evergreen season 12 by 12 coordinated cardstock. So, this is great. It features the colors that are used in this collection um, and no thought in terms of color matching. Um, you can rest easy knowing that all of this is going to look amazing with whatever you're making. Okay. <laughs> so now it's going to get a little sporadic, but here um, I have two different piles of tonic. So we're just going to go through this pile and then there's more to come later in the video. Starting off with the Timeless Tidings um, collection from Tonic Studios. Carol and I were very impressed with this. Um, these are different. This one's called like a topper pack. So this um, <laughs> particular pack includes like little strips and stuff. You can decorate your envelopes with, for example. Um, you can also do the tops of your envelopes. And then it's got like little stickers and all kinds of things that you can decorate cards or layouts or insides of cards, journals, I don't know, whatever. They're like different sort of washi strip flavors, if you will, but they're stickers. Um, then we have Candy Cane Christmas, so same idea. This one has little stockings and gingerbread people, and uh, it's very cute. I love the colors for this one. Carol and I butted heads, but we had to bring a couple in for those of you who like pink Christmas, uh, Candy Cane Christmas. Oop, there's the back. But yeah, it features some really cute prints. Go check it out on the website. I don't want to open these, um, unfortunately, in case somebody wants to purchase them. We have Timeless Tidings. This is the, um, what's the word I'm looking for? More like, I don't even know, like watercolory sort of collection from them, I guess although not watercolory, but it's got like holly and uh, reindeer, pine cones, roses. It's very pretty. Cranberries, holly berries, probably holly berries. Winter, Winter's Veil. Vale. So this one features like blues and silvers. Very nice. Winter's Veil, vale, um, Again, this is the 12 by 12, so it has 18 sheets of luxury cardstock. This one, actually, when I look at this, this is like watercolor -y. Um, But yeah, it's beautiful, $13.79, great price point for 18 sheets. Let's see if the back is worth raving home about, of course not. <laughs> then we have a very festive fair. Um, I love these with the silver sort of foil. And then you get some um, little villages and like cute little winter creatures, bears and seals and owls, foxes, bunnies, birds. I think that covers all of them. Um, and again, they also came out with a coordinating 12 by 12 collection. So everything would match beautifully. And then we jump into Halloween. <laughs> so here we have 
Um, the Spooktacular Halloween collection. I think uh, some of the dies made an appearance last week in the unboxing video, but here's the six by six for this particular collection. Very cute. Then we also have the 12 by 12. Look at the sneak peek of these papers. They are so cute. And then you get your sticker sheet and your journaling cards and stuff too. It's really cute. Speaking of really cute, the Winnie the Pooh collection from Echo Park is also here. <laughs> um, it's trickling in in pieces, but here we have frames and tags. We have titles and phrases. And then we have some little die cut ephemeras. Coordinating card stock, these, the solids which goes with this beautiful Winnie the Pooh collection. And then we have the 12, excuse me, the 12 by 12 paper itself. So cute. Oh, here we go, the wobbles. Um, you also get a sticker sheet and a, three different sheets of like journaling cards. Really cute for like making Winnie the Pooh Christmas cards. Just saying. Um, and. The sticker, for example, says, and just when Pooh thought he couldn't be any happier, a snowflake landed on his nose. Um, outside the snow is falling and friends are calling you who? Walking in a winter wonderland. Here you have the characters just out for a walk. It's so cute. So yeah, that's this Winnie the Pooh collection from Echo Park. And then this somehow landed on the bottom. We're going to bring it up. This is like the bundle, the mega bundle for this collection. So this comes with the 12 by 12. Um, oh gosh. Enamel dots, chipboard, um, die cut ephemera, coordinating solids, and probably more than I'm not seeing. So really cute collection from Echo Park. And I would never tie Winnie the Pooh with Christmas, but now that I see it done, I love it. Then we have another gorgeous collection from Echo Park for Christmas. This one is the, sorry, it's Cartabella, which is like a, an offshoot of Echo Park. Uh, this one is the A Vintage Christmas. So here's the six by six paper pad. Beautiful, traditional Christmas colors. Chipboard words and phrases. How handy are these to have just in general? Love it, different fonts. Um, here we have some chipboard accents. So little banners, wreaths, Santa sitting in his chair, bells, ornaments, little gifts, windows, street lights. The 12 by 12 collection. Um, and if I haven't ooh, shown it already, we also have the six by six for this. Some stickers, some journaling cards. And I love it. It even looks like some of these have like been pre-edged for you. The coordinating solid card stock for that. And then moving right along, we have um, Studio Light Classic Christmas uh, Unicolor Paper Pad. So this is like a fun size. It is, oh goodness, <laughs> 30 centimeters by 15 centimeters question mark um it's like really long and like skinny but you could do several different card fronts out of each color um and then this actually gives you a breakdown of all of the colors in here so uh these co coordinate with other collections fairly nicely for example this new prima one that i'm going to get to um but yeah really cute really fun to have on hand lovely christmas colors need i say more then we have this lovely new Prima Christmas collection. They actually released rub-on transfers, which I think is, I haven't seen yet from them. Um, so gorgeous. This one is called From the North Pole. So they released two Christmas collections. But there's the From the North Pole. They also released some little tags. How stinking cute. So you have your tag shape. And then you also get like gingerbread tags which say no more. <laughs> the 
Then they, um, Prima came out with the 25 and Peppermint collection as well. Here's the 12 by 12. Um, I just love this little, darling little vintage baby. Um, snow people. You have different dates. Vintage photos. Um, and then, Kelly, if you're watching, I know you're a sucker for gingerbread people. But, like, look how cute they are. You got some gold foil. And that doesn't do it justice. But, like, here's a sneak peek of some of the paper. So, it's so pretty. Um, and then we have the newest Gorgeous Girls. If you guys know anyone who collects them, uh, these are great. These are really cute for summer too so if you have like beach days you could just stamp out like little beach girls um this one actually has a beach ball i believe oh here's a better picture of her right there <laughs> then we have sunday so she's eating a little ice cream cone and living in a bubble she's blowing bubbles so cute Okay, <laughs> back to the Tonic Studios. We have the Candy Cane Christmas 8x8 papers. Winter's Veil 8x8. Timeless Tidings. And this just gives you a breakdown of some of the patterns. So they're just nice and small. 8x8 is a really fun size for mini albums. Just saying. Festive Fair. Then we have 25 and Peppermint 8x8. We have a Christmas Story Studio Light Designer Paper Pad. This one I can actually flip. Oh, I can flip through this one. And then I can also flip through the Prima one with you guys. So that's very exciting. Look how pretty. Okay, and then I think I can do the... Oh, I can't really do it, but look how cute. I'll just try to sneak peek. Look at the deers. There's those little gingerbread guys. Heavy breathing. There we go. Oh my goodness. So darling. We have also the 6x6. Six six. <laughs> we have Evergreen Season 6x8. Six the Studio Light Die Cut Festive Forest Paper Pad. Um, these are so so fun because again they just punch out um and you can add them onto whatever as embellishments i love the banners there's a little snowy owl making a cute face little how cute would this be is like a card front just add a sentiment <laughs> oh it even comes with sentiments lovely now, Tonic Studios also released little stamps for Winter's Veil. This one says things like, May your Christmas sparkle, winter wishes, dreaming of a white Christmas, happy holidays, let it snow, season's greetings, snowflake kisses and wishes, and merry and bright. And how cute are these? Just like to have dangling down your cards. Then Candy King Christmas sentiments. Uh, Merry and bright, joy to the world, let it snow, have a holly jolly Christmas, candy cane wishes, mistletoe kisses, deck the halls, happy holidays, Santa's coming, festive wishes, and happy new year. Candy cane Christmas, so cute. Stockings and trees and baubles, and like these are such a fun size. So here's my hand for reference. Like they are just nice and large. And then they, Tonic, took it a step further and they also released embossing folders for all four of these collections. So here we have Winter's Veil. These ones feature snowflakes. The candy cane one, which I would expect nothing less than candy canes and peppermints. Um, which one is this? This has to be Winter's. Nope. Festive Fair. And then if I flip it over, they actually have like a sample of what it looks like embossed and colored and um let's see if these ones do too okay you can barely see this one but it's it's adorable take my word um and then this one so 
They're just delightful little snowflakes. There's more. <laughs> so then we have the candy cane Christmas. These are like fun ornaments. Done up on a slim line in blues. Interesting choice. Um, then some wooden texture embossing folder. This is like great all year round. If you don't have one of those in your stash. Um, the timeless tidings. This one is like holly berries and sprigs of mistletoe shower, it says. So I'm assuming mistletoe. Then they have, oh, let's flip it over to share. Here we have it done up behind some vellum. Lovely. Then we have another snowflake embossing folder. $15.29 is a great price. And here is an example. And this one is very lovely. This one features pine cones. It is, again, timeless tidings. But, like, look at that. Stunning. So you could recreate their samples or examples. Then <laughs> we couldn't resist this die set. This is the Festive Fair uh, die, but it's adorable. So it features like the little um, rocking bear or the penguin. Here's, here's all of the actual pieces. So there's scarves and legs and arms and um, stuff that you can decorate them up with. And they look really cute on gift bags, <laughs> as an example. Studio Light, this is a Jennifer um, cutting die. It's very pretty, very lacy. Lovely to like tuck on the side of a card or in a journal, for example. Here we have a lantern, which would be great for uh, fall, the Christmas season, you could do spring lanterns. You could do one for an anniversary card lantern. <laughs> and then we have some 49 and market wishing bubbles and bubbles, bubbles and bubbles and, uh, evergreen season chipboards. Let's flip this over. So cute. And last but not least to share with you this evening, the studio light Christmas clear stamps. Uh, these ones say, may your Christmas be filled with light and love. Enjoy this wonderful time and ho, ho, ho. There, there it is on the back, more crisp. Um, so yeah, that concludes everything that I have to share with you for tonight's unboxing. Thank you so much for joining me. I know it's taking time out of your busy schedules and I really appreciate it. Uh, sorry for the motion sickness with the camera. <laughs> I will try to have a better one for you next time. Um, but if you saw anything you liked and you want to learn more about it, check us out, classact.ca, shop, click on shop, and then new arrivals. The month of July has everything I shared tonight and then some. Um, and get ready for August because we have more goodies coming. So thank you guys once again. Have a beautiful evening and I will see you all later. Bye.